Hey everyone, it's Kisha Charmaine and I'm back and I'm here to tell you guys a story. It's story time. Yeah, so I'm going to tell you about this time when this man tried to run me over with his van. He tried it. He tried it. So it was my birthday and I was on my way home from work. I was rushing a little bit because I was going out that night for my birthday. I was going to dinner with my girlfriends. And I'm about a block and a half away from home. And um, I'm walking down the street and I hear a couple arguing. I mean, at this point, I can't really tell if it's a couple, but it's clearly a man and a woman. And they're yelling and they're fighting. And there's like no one on the street. It's like only me in sight I can't see anyone but then I'm like I really hope this is not going on on my block because I don't see anyone on this block and I'm about to make the turn onto my block and then of course it was going on on my block so I'm hearing the commotion and I realize that I'm getting closer and closer and then I finally see the couple and that's when I find out that it was actually a couple and I hear that they were arguing I couldn't really tell what they were arguing about but it was clearly like a girlfriend boyfriend fight and I see the girl, she's on like the front steps of the house and the man, he's like on the sidewalk, like almost at his van and um, he has like a, a bag, it looks like it's a bag of garbage, it's a little plastic bag and like he throws it at her or th towards her, she picks it up and throws it back towards him. Both times when they throw the bag it doesn't hit anyone but it just they're just throwing it in their general direction but he got really mad when she threw it back and then he like ran towards her and then they start like tussling like and um now they're like rolling on the ground like in the bushes and I literally have to walk past this to get to my house which is several houses down and I'm like okay my heart's on the race like, I can't just walk past this situation and just, and be okay with myself, my conscience. So, um, and I'm really, like, I'm, like, really angry, though, because, like, um, man and woman violence, like, really, really bothers me. So, um, and he was on top of her. And, um, listen, she was fighting back. She was definitely fighting back. Um, she, it didn't seem like they were, like, really, really hurting each other, but they were clearly tussling, and he was clearly on top. So, and I'm like really getting really upset and so I say, get off of her before I call the police. Like that was the first thing that came to mind. And then he says, what? And he, he got up and I, I'm still walking like I, the whole time I don't stop walking. Um, he says, what? And he gets off of her and now he starts following me. And then the girl, she, the woman, she goes in the house. Now I think they're, if I can guess their ages, they're probably like in their early 30s. Okay. And I'm in my early to mid 20s oh and actually this was my birthday I had turned 24 this day this was earlier this year of course he didn't know it was my birthday maybe if he knew it was my birthday he would have left me alone so now he starts following me and the woman she goes away goes in the house and now it's now it's me and him and he's yelling at me and um half the time when he's yelling I don't really understand what he's saying both of them, they both had very thick and heavy Jamaican accents, and I'm sure that it was Jamaican. I can add, I can identify a Jamaican accent. And um, people, people always ask me, Keisha, you're Guyanese. How come you can't really understand a Jamaican accent? It's not that I can't understand a Jamaican accent. It's when the Jamaican accent is really aggressive and loud and angry. That's when it gets really thick, and I can't. I then I can't really. I don't know what you're saying at that point. And Guyanese accents and Jamaican accents are not close to the same to me. I mean, I guess because I am Caribbean, even though I may not sound it, I am. I, he's Now he's yelling at me, mind your business, mind your business, it's not your business. I'm like, this man is yelling at me. I don't like when people yell at me at all, regardless if you're a man or woman. Um, So I was like, I'm like getting mad started yelling back at him I'm like this is my block this is my block this is, I'm not that's not going down on my block <laughs> it's funny because like uh, when I don't know if it's a New York girl thing but like one it doesn't matter how scared you are like you're not gonna let nobody punk you that's that's one thing and two 
I think that's just one. That's one. Yeah. Though this man, he wasn't scary, but he was still a man, like a man yelling at you. Like he was probably maybe like an inch or two taller than me, and he wasn't big. Like he didn't have a lot of weight on him. Like the woman who he was um, getting into it with, she probably had like a good thirty pounds on him. Like definitely. But he, yeah, yeah, he was fairly skinny, if you ask me, and short for a man. And yeah, he's a, he's going off yelling at me, and at this point. He's like, um, oh, at this point, I'm on the street, mind you, because th this is early March, and there was still ice and snow on the street, so I can't really walk on the sidewalk, so I'm walking in the street. He's on the sidewalk, though, and, um, he's still following me, so I'm, like, here, and he's here, and we're, like, arguing like that, and, yeah, he's yelling at me, I'm yelling back, I don't even know what we we're saying. At this point, it's kind of like a pride battle. But I do remember saying, um, I don't care, I don't care, you know, this is my block, none of that is going down to my block. He's like, no, you you're calling the police, you messing up, you messing up, I'm like, no, no, don't do that to me, whatever. Um, I said, look, I'm looking out for you. He's like, how you looking out for me if you calling the police? I said, well, at least I told you, somebody else on the block is probably hearing this commotion and probably calling me without you even knowing. At least I gave you a heads up. And then, like, whatever, he's going back and forth, we're going back and forth, yelling and yelling and yelling. And then I realized that, um... I'm approaching my house. My house is kind of close by at this point, and I realize I don't want to go in my house because I don't want him to know which house is mine. You know, I don't want him to like follow me like that, like that. So, um, so I stopped walking. You know, you they can't follow you if you're not walking right. So I stopped walking, and uh, he stopped walking too. And then he says, and then like worse now we're arguing, standing still. And then um, I guess he realized we were getting nowhere. And then he says, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna run this bitch over. I said. Rrr? And then he he literally runs to the van, gets in the driver's seat, and accelerates. And I'm like, oh snap! I have to I have to run run a little bit, and then like hop over the ice so that I could get on the sidewalk. And then um, I just stand there again because uh, I'm getting closer to my house now. I don't want him to see where I live, so now I'm standing there. So he and he pulls up to where I was and gets out the van to argue with me some more. And then I realized this whole time there was a, another man in the passenger seat. I'm like, and he was quiet. I'm like, this whole time, like, you see your your, your friend. I don't know who who he is to him. I'm guessing it's a friend. You see your friend and, and his girl fighting, and you just sitting there shut. And you see this man, your friend, arguing with the stranger on the street, and you still sitting there shut. I'm like, all right. So, so then he gets out the the van and starts saying the same things to me that he was saying before. Um, oh, mind your business, mind your business. I'm like. I'm not minding my, I'm like, I'm not, I am minding my business, this is my business, this is my block. <laughs> like, I'm getting, like, now I'm getting angry, like, you're, now you're saying the same thing over and over, got me saying the same thing over and over. This is my block, this is my business, this is my block, it's my business. That's what, that's how I felt at the moment, you know. And, um, like I said, I didn't want him to be punking me, and I was not about to run away either, that's how I felt. Like, especially since he wasn't that scary in appearance. Um, yeah. <laughs> Mind you, like, I'm not that stupid, though. I Like, I had my my hand in my coat pocket at the time where I had my keys. And on my keys, I have a big, I have a whistle. Like, so, like, if I felt, like, really threatened, I would have blown that whistle. I mean, I really don't know if anybody would really react to a whistle. But I know I would have been screaming, too. So people would have, people would have heard. She's like, that was, that, was, that was my bitch. I've been effing her for the past four years. And I'm like... Now you telling me to be out your business. Now you telling me your business. I don't need to know all of that. What's, what's your point in telling me that? Does that supposed to justify what I saw? Does that supposed to mean it's okay for y'all to be tussling on the street in public? I mean, on my block at that? <laughs> no. So, um, and then I'm, and I'm just like, why, why are you telling me your business? Now you first you telling me to mind my business. Now you telling me your business. Like, at this point, like I'm yelling even louder and he's yelling even louder and he's like flinching at me and like I do jump like even though he wasn't even close enough to me to like actually touch me but like at this point like I we since we're like arguing back and forth for, for so long at this point I am getting a little like anxious so yeah he flinched at me and I did jump but um I'm still talking hard out the mouth because I'm a New York girl and that's what we do in these situations and um I guess at this point my my brother must have recognized my voice and he was like he must have been sleeping because he was wearing like sleeping clothes and he was barefoot and he he came out the house get the f out of here get out of here whatever and then um like yo leave her alone get the f out of here and then now the guy is is yelling at my brother but at this point like my brother he's still at the at the front steps 
Um, he doesn't get off the front steps because if he does, he would have been like asked out because he was barefoot and it was snow and ice all over the place. And the guy who I was arguing with, he was still like in front of me, like maybe like a two or three yards in front of me. And so now they're yelling like across the street basically. And I'm like the whole point of me like not the whole point of me arguing with this guy is so that he could leave and then I could go home without him seeing where I live but since my, my brother was yelling out the door obviously he knows where I live now so there's no point of me staying here arguing with this guy that's how I feel so at that point I just like I just um left I was like I just said all right I'm calling the police now and um like like try to make my brother like stop fighting with the guy and I um I came in the house, but my brother's still arguing. But then my brother eventually comes in. I think I like I, I don't know. I, I think I pull him in even. I don't know. But and then the van zooms off. Yeah, so that's pretty much it um, with that. And and I was concerned for a while f because you know this happened on my block. So I'm like, um, and the, and he does know where I live at this point. But um, but at the same time, it ain't, it wasn't that serious. It was just an argument. Nothing happened. The police did come, and I spoke to them, and um, I guess I just let them know what, what happened. Next time anything like that happens, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna shut up. Like, I don't have to, you know, be so prideful and, you know, <laughs> be so concerned with somebody punking me. You know, I'm, I am would just take a picture of their license plate and keep it moving, you know? Yeah, and I was concerned because, you know, it was it's on my block, so I thought I would probably see them again. But I didn't. I'm really, I'm surprised. No, I'm not really surprised, actually. I always made sure to, like, you know, whenever I um saw, like, a van on my block, I would look really hard so I can grill him really, really hard just in case it was him. You know? Give him one of those looks. And, I like, I probably gave, like, ten of the wrong people that look. <laughs> Just thinking it's him like honestly I, I wouldn't be able to identify him i mean i probably could i don't remember right now but maybe if i were to see him again i would be able to point him out but yeah punk he was a punk what a loser and oh boy in the passenger seat you a loser too that's that you know your girl had enough sense to get out of the way when he tried to run your girl over and i'm still here Thanks for watching. Let me know if you like these kinds of videos and leave me a comment below if you want to see some more. Don't forget to thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and share. Follow me on Instagram at Killer Does That. Love Light and Locks.